Hello, my name is Dr. Emma Barnes, and I'm a researcher here at the Griffith Institute for Drug Discovery, also known as GRID, which is based at Griffith University in Brisbane, Australia. I work in the area of natural products chemistry, and today I'm going to be walking through a session with you on how we can use natural products chemistry in order to discover new drugs to treat a range of diseases. To start with, you may be wondering what a natural product actually is. So natural products are chemical compounds that are produced by living organisms. Essentially, all living organisms are capable of producing natural products, whether they be plants, animals or microbes. Living organisms produce natural products in order to help them survive and thrive within their unique environments. For example, certain plants produce feeding deterrent natural products in order to deter off herbivores to stop them from eating them or animals might produce pheromone natural products in order to attract a mate. And the venom that snakes produce is actually a mixture of natural products. Marine organisms, especially sponges and corals, which typically leave, live out their lives stuck in the one position, are actually well known for producing very potent natural products in order to fend off predators, as they essentially have no other form of defence. Natural products make great leads for drug discovery because they're already known to function within living systems. Some examples of natural products that are currently used as drugs include lovastatin, which is a cholesterol-lowering drug, paclitaxel, which is used to treat ovarian and breast cancer, as well as the antibiotic penicillin. A great example of how natural products are used in drug discovery comes from the bacterial world. Bacteria are in the habit of producing natural products to actually kill off other bacteria or defend themselves from other bacteria. I like to think of this as a kind of little mini war zone where the bacteria are actually trying to outcompete each other for food and living resources. These same natural products that the bacteria are producing to defend themselves against each other actually make great antibiotics for us to use to treat bacterial infections. In fact, there are some great examples of antibiotics that have been isolated from bacteria, such as urethromycin and streptomycin. Natural product chemists such as myself have taken up the task of doing the chemical investigations of natural products in order to see if we can discover new drugs from the, from the natural world that can be used to treat a range of diseases.